Well, it's the tale of two ballparks in one city on the north side at Wrigley. Word of giant video screens set off a bitter battle. But on the south side at the cell, that same news brought a much different reaction. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker went to the ballpark. We're really excited for next year. Because that's when U.S. Cellular gets a major facelift. Three new video boards, explains White Sox marketing VP Brooks Boyer. And straight away center field, that entire board will be digital. Right now, only the middle of the board shows video. The upgrade covering the entire board makes it four to five times bigger. Think Soldier Field's video board with curves and pinwheels. The clarity of the picture will be very similar to what you see at Soldier Field. What's the advantage of the new boards? I think it's going to create a better fan experience for people who come in here. For example, says Boyer, you might see fantasy facts on the board or instant social media messages from fans in the stands. And for fans like Don Stoke. It's better for replays, things like that. You know, you're more into the game. It'll take a year or so for that to wear off and then they got to win. They'll also add to the bottom line. New technology is expected to attract new sponsors, increasing revenues for the White Sox. A rocket to right center. And unlike their competitors to the north, where the proposed video boards are mired in lawsuits from nearby business owners complaining about blocked views from their rooftops, no one's complaining at the cell. In fact, the closest businesses would love more traffic. If um, more people are going to come to the game, that means more people come here. I love the idea. The new video boards are expected to debut at next year's game opener. White Sox managers say you can also look forward to some tricks with the pinwheels. But one thing that won't change, fireworks. At the start of a game, home runs and celebrating a victory. Reporting from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker.